So I've never actually seen this video anywhere, but I thought it'd be a really fun video to make because my friend always makes fun of me about how much money I spend on The Sims, which in all honesty is pretty fair. I spend a lot of money on The Sims. I don't have every pack, but I have, well, you'll see how many packs. I did the math and that's really interesting for me because I'm really bad at math and I hate it. Like if you ask any of my friends, they'll tell you how bad I am at math. I pretty much failed year 11 <laughs> And then quit in year 12, so it's fine. But let me show you this PowerPoint that I made to explain how much money I've spent on The Sims. And I think you'll be surprised, honestly. Okay, so this is my presentation that I made and I just finished high school, so you know, I'm pretty accustomed to making one or two presentations. <laughs> but this is why I'm not buying a home anytime soon, according to Boomer Journalists in Australia, otherwise known as how much money I spend on Sims DLC. And if you're not in Australia, that's probably not a funny joke to you. But in Australia, Boomer Journalists like to blame um, avocado, avocado toast on why millennials can't afford housing, despite the fact that the cost of housing has gone up by like hundreds of percent. In the past like two years <laughs> and nobody's available to afford a house anyway that's just a little explanation on the joke but now let's go on to the powerpoint so first we have expansion packs so expansion packs are 49.95 australian dollars each there are currently 12 expansion packs not including growing together but i do own growing together so it is included in the total cost but i didn't include it in like the current expansion packs because hasn't come out won't come out for another 17 days um, and I own all of the expansion packs as of like three days ago, not three days ago, maybe two weeks ago. And then I have a list of the expansion packs. You can look at that if you would like to. Um, also forgive me if my math is a little wrong on this. I mean like with how many expansion packs and things there are. I think I've got everything, but sometimes, you know, it's, it's hard to get everything. But then we have the game pack breakdown. So game packs are $29.95 Australian dollars each. There are currently 12 game packs and I own seven of these game packs. So the ones in green are the ones that I own and the ones in red are the ones that I don't own. Um, and we all know how much I hate Journey to Two, so that will never be bought. <laughs> and then we have a stuff pack breakdown. They are fourteen ninety five Australian dollars each, and there are currently eighteen stuff packs. It's meant to say stuff. I'm sorry, that's a spelling error. And I own eight of these stuff packs. So I actually thought I owned a lot more stuff packs because that's all I used to buy a lot. Because obviously, it feels like you're getting more. You know, you're not actually, but it feels like you're getting more for less. So, um, but yeah. Anyway. And then for the kids, they are $7.95 each. There are currently 19, it's meant to say kids, I'm so sorry, I clearly just was really into the expansion packs. And I only own six of these. So I didn't know there were 19 because 19 seems like a lot when you think about it. I did not think 19 kids would come out. And thinking about it, kids only started coming out. Oh, <clears throat> kids only started coming out like, what, two years ago? It wouldn't have even been two years ago, I don't think. Maybe it was, but I feel like it's not. It just feels like a lot of kids to come out in that time. Although they don't have a lot of content, so I can see how they can produce more than they can expansion packs and things like that. And then we have the math. So I put together how much money each of the packs were by how many packs I had. And altogether that equaled $976.35 in Australian dollars, which is not as much as I thought it would be. Honestly, I saw someone estimating the price of all the like packs, all the DLC in The Sims at $3,000. And that was American. And I was like, oh my God, that means I've spent like $3,000 um, Australian. But I don't know. I don't know where they got that math from because this is my math and I don't think it's incorrect. And then I also did the math by how much I'd have to spend to get everything else. And it's $402.06, which again, not as much as I thought. Honestly, I thought the DLC was a lot more. Now we have some more maths just for the fun of it, which is insane because I never do maths for fun. I don't even do maths when it's a necessity. But if we were to average how much I've spent by the amount of weeks that I've had the game, and I've had the game for just over three years now, I actually think that maths is incorrect, but let's just go with it. I think I, I don't think that's right. Actually, no, it is. It is. Um, I would spend, I would have spent four and a half dollars per week on a pack. And if I wanted to buy, if I wanted to spend the same amount per week and buy all the packs, it would take me 89 weeks to just spend four and a half dollars per week to get all the packs. And if I just wanted to buy a pack a week, it would take me 28 weeks. Now, in, now in total, all the packs, if you want to buy every single DLC and you had nothing, now I'm not including the original game. I know 
I, like in any of my costs at all because I had to pay for the original game but the original game like the base game of the sims is now free on all platforms so I didn't think you know it was really worth including even though I paid for it I think I only paid like 20 bucks as well so not not really an issue anymore um but in total everything costs $1,378.95 and that's in Australian again I just want to make that clear this is all in Australian dollars not in any other currency so if you wanted to buy a pack a week and you had no DLC you would be spending on average $22.05 per week which look it's a lot but when you think about how much people spend on their hobbies I I, I you know if, if you want it to be your hobby and like people go to the pub and they spend that much per week or people spend way more on a night out at dinner I know I spend way more on a night out at dinner than that much so it's not I'm not encouraging going out to just spend that much per week but it's not crazy to think of spending that much per week if you really wanted every pack but I don't think you need every pack to enjoy the game I I enjoy the game with the amount of packs I had I think I'd enjoy honestly just the base game as well The Sims is a really diverse game in how you can play it you can play in so many different ways just using the base game that you would probably be able to play for a year straight and still never get bored because you know it's a sandbox game well i think of it like a sandbox game so you can really do anything anyway i hope you guys enjoyed my little video today and let me know if you like the powerpoint because i liked making it i also have another video with the powerpoint coming out and it was a really fun video to make but i feel like i'm in school again you know i feel like i'm making those cute powerpoints so i hope you enjoyed my video and if you did there are plenty more that came up i um i upload twice a day once at 6 a.m and once at 6 p.m it does vary sometimes it's 8 a.m and 8 p.m i'll usually I'll always do the equivalent of what I did in the a.m. to the p.m. So say I upload 11 a.m. I'll always upload 11 p.m. as well. But currently I'm uploading twice a day, which seems like a lot, but I don't make very long or complex videos. If I do, it might end up being once a day, especially when I get further into uni. But currently I'm coping with twice a day pretty well. I have like a week ahead in videos currently. So yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you later. Bye.